Please join me today. I'm going to give you a review on this st American Standard Ovation six foot shower. I just stuck the shower pan in the walls and I'm going to give you my opinion on the product. All right, please join Take me. Take the time to watch this video. Hey, uh, not only did I change my mind as I arrived to this job site to install this shower, I wasn't really sure what I was getting into, but about halfway through, I realized what the client had purchased. So I kind of changed my view on this shower about halfway through the making of this video. And hey, I threw in a couple little fish clips because me and Jackson were at Higgins Lake on a bro trip. We're having a bromance. We've had a bromance going on for about 10 years. And this is one of our mini bro trips. We've been to Wisconsin, we've been to Ohio. We've won $7,000 in Hamilton, Ohio on a bro trip with our giant pumpkin. Join us, you may enjoy this video. Not only is it very informative, will help you get through the shower if you are installing it. It'll show you some of the key points that we discovered that would help you a lot. And you may not have to read the instructions eight times. So please join us. Have here, I've installed the shower pan. I mortared it in, did it by the book, did a nice job. She's beautiful, beautiful level, square, squared up my walls, added all the stud work. You got to have a stud every 10 and a half inches, thereabouts. All been added. Okay, behind here, OSB boards added, one by four has been added, all this to beefing it up. When you take this panel, and we are now dry fitting them. I'm dry fitting the panels as, as per the destructions. And always remember, read the destructions so you don't need instruction later on how to fix the mess. All right, there's my one by four, there's my OSB. But what I will say about this product is, I believe what they've done is they put, instead of making thicker fiberglass walled showers at a premium price, this is still, I think, a premium price. For the pan and walls, it's like $1,200. I would say they're putting the workload on the installer because you have to buy the extra two by fours. You have to buy the OSB board and you have to install all of that, adding a lot of time to it. I've been working on this all day. Um, I set the pan yesterday. I started at uh, 1030 this morning and it's now like 430 and I'm getting ready. I got to put OSB on the back wall and we'll be ready to glue. But there's also a little track connector track that's got to be installed. I'll Here's show you the that. connector strip, which I don't think uh, is described very well in the instructions. So I hope you find my video. I'm going to show you the connector strip, which took me a while to really read the instructions five times and figure out. It will go on here. And they recommend using GRK screws. Um, you need a flat GRK GR K screw cabinet fasteners to pilot drill these and to place the screw in here and then this back panel will snap in there's a big back panel that goes over all of this after I add the OSB I still yet to do that um so that's where the connector strip goes just so you know here's the GRK screws uh my client homeowner was good enough to go down and buy them this is the type of screw they want you to use all right very important <clears throat> follow manufacturer's recommendations. I was going to second guess the OSB board, throw up drywall instead. I said, no, nope, let's do it by the book. But I think in my personal opinion, it's nice. I think it's a nice shower. It'll be, it'll serve well for them. And I haven't done the shower door. Tell you what, I'll add to this video, the shower door. I'm going to install that tomorrow. But for now, my opinion is it's a whole lot of work. And I think what they've done is the engineers and the manufacturer has now dumped the load on the installer and the client. That seems to be the way products are going now. Call me a genius. I figured this out. They're putting the workload and saving the buck. They're putting it on the installers, which could be you, the do-it-yourselfer. They're putting the workload on you. I've even found doors, pre-hung doors are manufactured by one company where they don't router out the strike latch. They, that's like 
and they sell the door five or ten dollars less than their competition well this isn't routered out now who wants to router that out when it's all glorified cardboard glue and sawdust and router that out when they could do it with on a jig in a factory so i'm ratting on but watch out for the products they're cheapening the products and putting it on the installer and i think this product here is doing quite a bit of that all right but stay tuned we're gonna do the shower door now i've installed the connector strip with the grk screws now the instruction said to pilot drill i did pilot drill these and i realized as soft as this plastic is i did not pilot drill these i think if their plastic is that brittle you're in tough shape already so all right now we're going to dry fit the back panel before i put the osb because i want to make sure everything's sweet because the instructions say do both end panels then dry fit the middle panel if it's not spot on we may have to make some adjustments we'll right, so see. here we are we have a left side fit in in the connector strip and this is what i've got okay <clears throat> i'm a little bit um got a gap but nice thing it's a uniform gap so all we have to do is bump out each side just a fraction or do it all to one side i think what we'll do is just it looks like i would call that a quarter inch gap we will just shim out each side the eighth of an inch on each side and we're home free jackson's going to put in some final screws in the osb this is why i'm saying i think this is a lot of work doing one of these units you got a screw buddy yeah, yeah. go ahead see the studs right here well you can put one right here put a screw right here right there all right you're gonna put put the final screws in the osb it's a little tricky you gotta get them started sometimes they drop off and uh there's the final sheet of osb we did have to adjust the connector strips and i did some adjustment it was a little bit off we had a big gap but i straightened it out i actually slipped this little shim under there brought that up just a little bit to balance it all out and make a flush at the top all right, so hold on. We'll show you setting the last panel okay. in a second. We're on a bro trip, Jack. Remember, we used to walk down Sherman Street with the five-gallon bucket and go on a bro trip? Yep. All right, here we go. Another, trip another bro trip. Jack's putting in some of the final screws. You got to put some weight in it, buddy. Put your butt behind it. No, behind the gun. Put a little, a little weight behind it. Now push. There you go. You got to put your butt behind it. All right. There you go. Good job. Good job, Jack. They got to make sure they're countersunk. They got to be a little bit below service. If they're sticking up, you're going to have a bulge in your tub surround. All right. All right. Remember, if you like the videos, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and please share the videos with a friend. What are you making now, Jack? A smiley face. A smiley face. There you go. I caught one already. First cast? Make a liar out of me, will you? Wow, first cast. So we have the back panel. It's time to throw the back panel on. Right. An adult and a nine-year-old. I'm sorry, ten-year-old. A ten-year-old can do this. Are you ready, Jack? Oh, it's upside down. It's so easy, we can install it upside down. You ready? Yep. All right. Now we've got the connector strips. This fits right into the connector strips. All right. And then we just go down, push it in, tap it in. How's it looking, Jack? Good. Give it a push. We'll push it into the glue. All right. Give her a smack. And then you know what? We look, we've got nice and flush. We're nice and flush with our top edge. Now all you got to do, Jackson, is you got to stand here all night like this. Can you do it? No, actually with these connectors, it's great. You can actually, it's snapped in place and uh, we're good to go. Complete. Videotape, turn it sideways. No, don't drop my phone in the water. Come on, here we go. Bring it up, bring it up. Yeah, yeah, get it. Are you video it? Get a video, yeah. We got a hammer handle. Is it big enough to eat? Stop, it's hammer time. All right, this is how we fill the gap. If you're wondering, come here, Jackson, show them a close-up of the gap. We've got our screws in, and what we're gonna do, because we surgically cut out the drywall so we didn't remove all the drywall, and then we're just gonna fill this in with Easy Sand 90. This will harden off in 90 minutes, 
And then we'll come back with the fiberglass mesh tape. I call it fiberglass, it's really just mesh tape. And we will mesh tape over top of this and then top it off with a final coat of like plus three joint compound. All right. So join Great. us. Pat there you number go. two. How big is that one, Jack? Same size. It's two to zero. Jack's whooping mud. On a small scale, a lot of guys don't like mixing this mud. I bought a little $5 paint mixer and we're just mixing it up. It's a little messy. That's what we're doing out here in the yard. Don't worry, folks, it won't hurt your lawn. It's just chimpson. All right, it'll wash right into the lawn. The whip. Whip it good, Jack, whip it good. The gap is filled with Easy Sand 90. One of the biggest complaints I have from people, I don't like using the bag mud, Bubba, because I always got some to throw away. This will get tossed away because it'll be hard in 90 minutes, so it's gone. Throw it away, no big deal. That's part of the game. You're gonna throw some away. Get used to it. Don't focus on what you're throwing away. Focus on the time you saved, not hanging drywall. So we have 90 minutes to wait for this to dry. Right, and while that's going on, we're gonna start installing the shower door. Just I wanna comment one thing on installing this American Standard Ovation shower. We installed the shower, we removed a tub, now, don't believe what they tell you down the wisecrack of lines. You don't have to have a bathtub in the house. This is the only bathroom in this house, and they have decided, hey, we don't need a bathtub. And you know what? Most Americans aren't bathing anymore. If you don't believe me, just step into any Walmart, and you'll see for yourself. Americans are not bathing. So you don't need a bathtub, all right? There you go. You got a shower, all right? Thanks for all joining right. us. Hey, keep this in mind. This American Standard Shower... And I installed this, well, with tear out and everything, I was here over three day period. But we did a plumbing access, top notch, set it in mortar, done right. I think the client's into this for around $4,000. All right, with me and my ballpark idea. Where these bath fitter companies, they're gonna charge you seven to $8,000. You're gonna pay 7,000, 8,000. If you get a seat, you're gonna be at $9,000. So hey, call 1-800-BIG-BUBBA if you're in Michigan. And you can have me, you know, comment below, get my number off the internet and uh, call me and you can save a couple thousand dollars. I'll come install one of these for you. All right. All right. There you go. All right, Jack. It's two to one. I'm getting you. Okay, and the hardest thing was installing the shower door is the bottom rail. The installation of the bottom rail is the most difficult. The actual shower door, go shower door goes in very easy. The little templates, there's a right and left template. Just simply painter tape those on each end and then drill your four locations for the bracket. But then the placement of the bottom rail after you hang the first door, which we had the wheels on the wrong side of the glass. The instructions don't really show you the right side of the glass to put on it unless you're a guy that is really into mechanical drawing and, and drawings. It doesn't show you a great. So we had the wheels on the wrong side of the glass the first time. So... The wheels placement's a little tricky. Other than that, the door is pretty simple to install. But the placement of the bottom rail, that's a little tricky. Requires kind of two people. You silicone the bottom of it, or you can draw a line in the pan. But 24 millimeters is actually just a little under one inch, seven eighths of an inch. You placement from the outside of the curb inside, place the rail, seven eighths of an inch is the placement. All right, and then a small bead of silicone underneath tape it down with some blue painter's tape. And then you do have to center. There's a guide that you center dead center that for the placement of both doors to ride through. And that takes two people, get one on each side and handle that bottom rail. Other than that, the shower door is pretty breezy, easy breezy. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it helps you install your $8,000 shower. And if you do it yourself, you probably get out of the door for $2,000. All right, man. Talk to you later. I'm going to charge you $7,000 for one of these. This is a good uh, glass, easy cleaning glass. We haven't put the shower head on yet, but that's going on after I do my little final coat of mud around the bathroom. Here you go, Dwayne. No more Dwayne in the bathtub. We got a shower. All right, check it out. This is up here for the guy that's six foot four. I'm 5'10", and I'll show you how tall this shower is. It says you got to have a shower head down low. 
we install them for the six footers. All right, there's a lot of content in this video, but I hope you enjoyed the little fish clips. I wanted to show you that it's not just all work. We got to have some fun in life. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that part of it. But hey, this is one day showers. Okay, you can do a one day shower. Wow, seven, eight grand, it's done. But the bad thing about those, the negatives, they're going to leave as much as they can on your walls and try to cover it up. They're going to say, oh, we don't have to do the tear out. That's why they get it done in one day. You're better off, in my opinion, tear it all out because we found mold behind the drywall. They actually put plastic up on the inside of the walls of this house. Big mistake. Never put plastic up on the inside of your walls. It will sweat. A house needs to breathe. Moisture has to be able to leave a home, but it should never enter a home. Hence, you have Tyvek and paper-faced insulations. This house had unfaced insulation with plastic, a, a recipe for mold. Don't do it. So rip out your whole shower, put in a whole new shower, get rid of the old funky monkey moldy crap behind it. One day showers are all wet. You're better off do a three day shower. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, if you like the videos, turn on your notifications, subscribe to the channel, and please join us at Keep It A Secret Home and Garden. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend.